الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلى علی وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد Controlling our tongues and watching the things that we speak about is one of the most difficult things for us to do as human beings because it's easy to backbite one another, it's easy to slander one another, it's easy to speak about the muharramat, those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is displeased with. And in a beautiful athar of the salaf, Qala Fudayl ibn Iyad rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, مَا حَجٌ وَلَا رِبَاطٌ وَلَا جِهَادٌ أَشَدُّ مِنْ حَبْسَ اللِّسَانِ He said that Fudayl ibn Iyad, one of the salaf of this ummah, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, Hajj, he said it's uh, Hajj, nor the war horse, nor jihad fi sabilillah, is more difficult than controlling the tongue. وَلَا أَسْبَحْتَ يُحَمُّكَ لِسَانُكَ and if it becomes important for you to control your tongue, then you will find great sadness, severe sadness. And he said that the prison of the tongue is the prison of the believer. يُحِمَّكَ لِسَانُكَ أَسْبَحْتَ فِي غَمٍ شديد. And he said if it becomes important for you to control your tongue or your tongue, then you will receive severe grief, showing us the importance and that it is difficulty. It requires exercising our restraint. And this is the beauty of fasting, that fasting should help us and aid us in restraining ourselves, restraining ourselves by doing those things which please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and restraining ourselves from doing those things which are displeasing to Allah and from those things which are displeasing to Allah is speaking ill with the tongue and harsh language and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our sins wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam